Welcome to More Than A Few Words, a marketing conversation for business owners. This is your host, Lorraine Ball. And you know what? Your audience is out there. There are people that are just dying to work with you. The problem is they don't know that you exist. And that's what we're going to talk about today. And to have this conversation, I've invited Jamie Atkinson to join me. He's a serial entrepreneur. He's a top 10 podcast or award-winning sales specialist and podcast monetization expert. And he, along with his partner, Angel Tussie, are the founders of Need a Guest, a Facebook group that helps business owners and podcasters get booked on shows or help you find guests for your platform podcast or show. Jamie, welcome to the show. Lorraine, what's up? Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here today. We just, we love talking on podcasts, big podcast fans. You know what? One podcaster to another, this is just fun. But let's dial it back. Let's let's take it from the perspective of a new business owner or a business owner that is struggling to get their message in front of the right people. How do they start? Why should they consider podcasting at all? Such a good question. Honestly, so many of you listening right now are probably, you know, where I was five, six years ago. You know, you're getting out there. You're saying, I've got this business. I think I know what I want to do, but where are my customers? How do I actually get started? And a lot of us, Lorraine, you've probably been here. Sometimes we focus on the wrong things, right? You know, we spend the first year in business building a product or we sit there and we say, how do I sign up for my LLC? How do I get protected? How do I, you know, get my accountings and my filing sorted? And most of the time we ignore the big, big thing that most small businesses need, which is you just need to talk to more customers. So one of the things that's really, really helpful about podcast interviews, especially for beginners, and especially because I wasn't very good at talking when I first got started with this, podcasts are a really easy place for you to go and just talk. You know, you're not pre-recorded, you're not scripted, you're not th- having to sit down and think, what exactly am I going to say? Or what what's the headline going to be? Or what's my hook to grab attention? It's really easy just to have these organic conversations. So for really to get started learning in this conversation, the biggest thing that I think is really valuable is as a new business owner, the only thing you need to focus on is speaking to more people and making more sales so that you can get customers because customers is going to be the thing that makes your product better. And podcasting is a pretty easy way to go out there and to share your message. But I think where people struggle sometimes is like, well, I know it's easy to talk, but you know, how do I get booked? I think that's where a lot of people have the breakdown, right, Lorraine? Absolutely. So let's really look at that and we'll come back to what do you talk about later. I think I know what I want to talk about. I I personally have never had any problem talking. My mother says I was born talking, but okay, whatever. So I know what I want to talk about, but how do I get booked on podcasts? How do I find podcasts? I mean, there's a lot of them out there, but who's taking guests? Where do I start? Right. I mean, if anyone is a podcaster that's listening here, the first thing they're going to say is don't cold pitch me, right? As podcasters, we get a bajillion, you know, cold, un sort of researched and really not well thought out pitches. And they're just, you know, they just go straight in the bin. They go straight in the trash. So for a lot of new people who are wondering, well, how do I get on shows? The challenge is that that we say, well, first of all, where do I find these podcasters? And two, what do I say to them? And so when I originally partnered with Angel, my business partner, she was running a, a company that was focused purely on helping people to write press releases. And she built this group called Need a Guest to make it easier for her to find these platforms for her clients. She was like, well, rather than me having to go out and send a bunch of messages to these media platforms, what if I just build a group where they come to us instead? So rather than having to go out, they come to us. And she originally built it as a resource for her business. But since then, it's absolutely exploded. Between our two groups, we've got 63,000 podcast professionals, business owners, entrepreneurs that are inside of there. And what's cool about these groups, Lorraine, is it's not like a traditional Facebook group where you go in and a bunch of people are, you know, giving value posts and pitching each other. We only allow two types of posts. The first post is need a guest. If you have a platform, a podcast, and you want a guest, you go in there. If you're someone who is looking to get booked as a guest, the best thing for you to do is to go into that group 
and you can just look through the posts. There is every day 20, 30, 40, 50 podcasters posting saying we are looking for guests. And so the easiest thing for you know people to do if they want to start getting booked on shows is just go into the group, go look for any posts that grab your attention from these podcasters and just comment and start the conversation. And so Angel did an amazing job of building this, but it just makes it very straightforward to actually find podcasters and to be able to you know, get booked because they're looking for the guests, just like you're looking to be booked. So it's a match made in heaven. <laughs> Absolutely. So what advice do you have? I mean, because I certainly as a podcast host have a few thoughts on this, but what advice do you have for people when you have someone who says, hey, I'm looking for a guest and there are already 10 people who have said, me, me, me. How do you stand out? What do you, what do you put in that pitch at that moment where someone is saying, I'm open to be pitched, go ahead and pitch me. What do you say that gets you to the top of the list? Yeah, there's, there's a lot of debate, you know, in terms of what is the best thing to put in. The number one thing you can do is to just be really transparent and take some time to put the right message in place. And what I mean by that is actually research the person, you know, take a look at their Facebook profile, go look at their podcast, leave a five-star review. You know, one of the things that we encourage you to do is to make it easy for the podcaster. So the number one thing a podcaster wants you to do as a guest is promote it. That's it. That's all they want. So if you go and you reach out and you say, Hey, Lorraine, you know, I was coming in and I checked out the podcast more than a few words. You know, I really love the episode you did with Jamie a couple of weeks ago talking about podcasting. I am an expert in, I don't know, let's say I'm an expert in helping people to lose weight. <laughs> I would love to come in and share my own words on it. By the way, you know, I, I went and ahead and left you a five-star review because I really love the message that you've got on the show. Um, but I wanted you to know that I have my own audience. I would love to promote this. Every time I'm a podcast guest, I write an email, I do a post, and you just let me know if there's anything you would like me to do on top of that, because I would love to spread the word. By the way, I came up with a headline to make it easier for you. You know, I would think uh, you, you can call the episode this and you can give them a headline. Um, looking forward to hearing back from you. Totally okay if you don't select me. I just thought it would be a good chance to reach out. And that, if you want to rewind that, guys, and, you know, write that out, that's more or less, you know, a pitch that we'll use 99% of the time. And we're doing a couple of things in that. We are making it easy for Lorraine. We, we're giving her a headline. Uh, we make her feel good by giving her something in advance. We left a review on the podcast, you know, and then we also talked about what's in it for her. We're going to be a great guest because we're going to promote and put it out there. So I think that's the, the trick, Lorraine. And then the other thing I would say is it's really sometimes just about numbers. You know, sometimes people will say, well, I'm not getting booked. And I say, well, how many outreaches did you do? And they'll say two. <laughs> so, you know, the number one thing I encourage people to do is really put some time into it. Spend 10 or 15 minutes every day, you know, going through and applying to two, three, four, five different people, put together something that's kind of unique. And if you make it a consistent practice, you're probably going to have a lot of success with it. Absolutely. You never know which one of those conversations is really going to hit. Right. And if you end up on the right podcast at the right moment, I have a client that was with me for almost 10 years. So that was a lot of, and, and they were a retainer client. And it was because of an interview that they heard. And they were so intrigued by what I had to say and my approach and it was just one of those quirky little things. I never thought that interview would, would turn into anything. It wasn't really even in my niche. But it was a great conversation and they were impressed. Amazing. Yeah, we say this all the time. You know, sometimes you're going in there and you're saying to yourself, well, I want to get booked on the biggest podcast that's out there. But sometimes, you know, if you look at what really successful people do, you know, they don't pick and choose. If somebody's there and they are willing and they're showing up and they're consistent and they've got, you know, 50 or 100 episodes under their belt, most of the time, these incredible high-level business owners will do that interview. And so as a beginner, you don't want to be too fussy with this. It's really just about consistency 
And we say two shows a week is the perfect number to shoot for. You know, any less than that, and you're not really doing enough legwork to get out there, but any more than that, and it becomes something that's difficult to do every week. So two a week we found is the sweet spot. That's a hundred new audiences in a year that you're going to be speaking in front of. And these, I mean, these audiences, Lorraine, they're, they're not small. You know, a lot of the time people think, oh, that podcast, it's only got, you know, 400 downloads. If they're doing an episode a week, that's a hundred people. Imagine if you went into a room of a hundred people and you had to speak in front of them, that would be giant. And so don't underestimate these shows that you can get in front of because there's some big, big opportunities out there. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to be honest, Jamie, I could talk to you forever, (laughs) but both of us have things to do. And so what I'm going to say is that if you've enjoyed this conversation and you're listening to Jamie and you want to learn more, there will be links to his website and Facebook group in the show notes. Jamie, thank you for being a part of the show. No worries. Thank you. And we're excited. And uh, thanks. Yeah, we love being on here. Awesome. And if you're looking for other resources for your business, be sure to look for more than a few words wherever you listen to podcasts. Listen to two. They're short. This has been another